Here, let us look at some of the important theorems and angles. So this theorem here states that if a ray stands on a line, then the sum of the adjacent angles so formed is 180 degrees. Now we have given a ray CD which stands on the line AB such that angle ACD and angle BCD are formed. Let's quickly go to the figure here. This is the line AB. We have a ray CD on the line AB. So now since CD is on the line AB, now we have two angles being formed here. That is angle ACD, that is this one. And then we have angle BCD, that is this one. So we have angle ACD and angle BCD. So we know that these are the adjacent angles. So what do we have to prove here is, now CD stands on AB. So we need to prove that angle ACD plus angle BCD is 180 degrees. To prove, we need to prove that angle ACD plus angle BCD equals 180 80 degrees. Now, we need to make a small construction to prove this. So, let us see what the construction is. Draw ray CE perpendicular to AB. So, now here we go. We need to draw a ray C. So, C is already here. So, we need to draw ray CE such that it is perpendicular to AB. That is nothing but it is at 90 degrees to AB. So here we go, something like this. So this is perpendicular to AB and let us name this E. Now, what is the proof that we have now? Let's see what is the proof. Proof is nothing but we have angle ACD equals angle ACE plus angle ECD. Look at the figure as I'm writing this and as I'm talking about this. That is angle ACD is nothing but addition of these two angles that is this one and the small one here. So angle ACE and angle ECD. So that is let's take it as equation one. Now another fact that we have here is we have angle B C D equals angle B C E minus angle E C D. So let's take this as equation 2. So here we have angle B C D. Now we can write angle B C D as take the whole of E C D which is 90 degrees and take away so much subtract that much from E C D we get B C D. That's exactly what is uh, what this equation represents here. Now, adding 1 and 2, we get angle ACD plus angle BCD. I think you're already starting to see why are we adding this because, you know, we need to prove angle ACD plus angle BCD equals 180 degrees. So, we are already halfway through by getting the LHS in place. Now let us see what happens to the right hand side. So angle ACE plus angle ECD plus angle BCE minus angle ECD. Now angle ECD plus angle ECD and minus angle ECD gets cancelled and all we are left with is angle ACD plus angle BCD equals angle ACE plus angle BCE. Now the most important thing here is we know that the line C is perpendicular to AB and therefore it is at 90 degrees to AB on both sides. So angle ACE is 90 degrees 
angle BCE is 90 degrees to the last part of the proving. So angle ACD plus angle BCD is equal to angle AC plus angle BC which are nothing but 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. So angle ACD plus angle BCD equals 180 degrees and hence theorem is proved. Let me quickly run through all these things once again. The proof is nothing but angle ACD is sum of two angles inside it that is angle ACE and angle ECD and angle BCD is nothing but subtraction of angle ECD from angle ECB. Now we form two equations based out of those equations. Now adding those we have angle ECD and angle ECD of opposite sides getting cancelled and so we are left with angle AC plus angle BC which are equal to 90 degrees each. So therefore addition of those two gives us angle ACD plus angle BCD as 180 degrees.